Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. If you're a uh, current subscriber, thank you for coming back as well and viewing this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about the uh, rigid uh, 18 volt charger and battery which uh, we had purchased about a year ago. Now I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about the uh, how it held and so on and so forth, the heavy dutiness of it, um, the it battery indicators on the charger and on the battery itself as you can see over here. What I like about the standalone charger is that it sits flat but the minus on it is that you have to take the battery itself and put it inside now if it's sitting flat I'll show you by turning this battery charger this way and the hook actually goes from the top and sits inside but you guys also have to remember that you have to hit these two tabs which are uh, uh, you release it you squeeze and let go and it locks into the charger now that's a pain in the butt because you have to line them up and sometimes when you uh, don't have it straight you can't line them up so uh, that's uh, that's a minus on it also if the battery charger goes uh, you have to buy a brand new one and uh, the charger itself costs a lot more than buying the battery and the charger together so now we're going to take a little bit of a look at the bottom of the charger. It's got its orange and black, uh, the rigid color. Now as you can see down here, what I don't like on it is it doesn't have the skew like the other, uh, like the other uh, QR codes that the other companies have. If I turn it this way again, you have all your, um, your information. As far as the Li Lithium Ion um, battery, as you can see, the blue means that it's a good battery, and if you were in the red zone, it's not. So we're going to be looking at the tabs over here. The tabs, I would always suggest to make sure that they're, they're clean. You don't have any wood chips in them or uh, dust. So uh, it's best to keep it clean and stowed away when you're not using it. Now we're going to take a little look about the um, the outlet adapter. This outlet adapter seems very, very flimsy. As you can see, the uh, cord is your standard cord. And if you bend it, you run the risk of breaking it. And these uh, chargers are expensive. It's your uh, UL standard 110 volt, as you can see here. Now we're going to go over to the battery itself. Now the battery itself over here, if you take a look at it, and I have zoomed in a little bit on the, uh, on the uh, tabs for the uh, battery itself, which go straight into the charger and straight into the tool. Now over time, I have made sure that I have cleaned them off. As you can see right here where the tab housing is, it's very, very clean. I always make sure also to make sure that I have not put any creases and dents in the plastic because then that would mess up the railways. As you can see, if I turn it this way, you guys are going to see the railways and the notches. You also have your... Uh, 2AH battery which came standard on the drill driver set that I have showed in the past. Now as if I pull the battery forward you guys are going to see the indicator. Now I fully charge a battery so when I press the indicator it's uh, it's fully uh, charged on its side right here halfway you guys 
I show you that, here's the other one. Right here. Now, this number that you see here on the battery, this coincides with the tool that you are using and the series that you are using. So it's a CS2106, which goes with, you can use it with the saw and all the other tools. I do recommend looking at the box and the bottom of the tool itself to make sure that you guys are uh, abiding by the uh, risk taking. And uh, I strongly recommend looking at it and reading the instructions that come with the bare tool itself. Let's go back to the charger. It's got the rigid uh, thing also. I would stow these away. And as I have said in other videos also, I would make sure that I keep the battery outside of the tool. That way I'm safe. And the battery life uh, gets extended. You have that all through in all the uh, tools that I have reviewed and uh, put to the test. Um, in prior videos, if you are a new subscriber or you subscribe to my channel, you're going to see the performance of this uh, through drilling, uh, drilling, screwing in, and drill and driving. Uh, so I hope that this uh, was a good informative video of the charger and the battery for the 18 volt drill driver set or the standalone charger. Make sure you like and subscribe again, and you guys have a great day.